The 139-pound bout is next, and let's get the official announcement. At 139 pounds, the Golden Gloves Championship bout features in the red corner, representing the Indiana franchise, Victor Levine, the red corner. Out of the blue corner, from the Knoxville franchise, Roy L. Jones, the blue corner. The referee from Kansas City, Jerry Morales. Round one begins at the three-round bout, two-minute round. And these are both very, very aggressive fighters, so we would expect both men to, to not take many steps backwards in this fight. Roy Jones in the orange trunks. Victor Levine in the black trunks with the white shoes. They both have good left hooks. They both can work on the inside to the body and the head. And I'll tell you, in his fight, Roy Jones in his semifinal beat Derek Roland, a young man we saw at the sports festival last year, a very fine fighter from New Jersey, and it was a war, and I think a bit of an upset on many people's minds that Jones won it. At one point, Roland was sent through the ropes in that semifinal bout. Again, Jones says he'll do whatever it takes. He can adapt to his opponent with one minute left in the first round of the 139-pound championship. You can see right away here, they are both willing to mix it up. The right hand of Victor Levine was dislocated last year. He had to miss a year, and he says it's still tender. Do you think that'll affect him tonight? Well, as you get to the end of these tournaments, it starts to hurt you. That was why Sugar Ray Leonard, when he got in the amateur fighting, said it was so much easier as a pro. He could rest for three months. He didn't fight four fights at a time. Levine is going to the body very well. Good combination there a moment ago. Under half a minute to go in the first round. We're going to pay a visit to the corner of Victor Levine when this round ends. Get all the inside information and the strategy. The countering by Levine. He, he said he thought his hand speed would be the difference in this fight. So far, it has been. Levine in the black trunks and the white Time. shoes. Come on, get the hell out. Get him out Danny Almanzar to the ring, please. Danny Almanzar. You're back again, man. You're kicking his ass. Don't let him come to you, okay? Double your jab up there. Double your jab up there. Pull the right hand out behind you, okay? That's still a little bit baby, okay? I'm not trying to jab it quite enough. Pick your jab up. Double your jab up. Put the right hand right behind you. In the last round, although I don't think it was a great round for Roy Jones, he did show this power with the right hand against Levine, one of his, really one of his few good moments in that first round, but uh, it shows he's got the wherewithal to get to Levine. Jones is 17 years old. He's been boxing since he was 13. He's an inch taller than Levine at 5'10". It's his first National Golden Gloves tournament. In contrast to Levine, who won it in 84, also won the U.S. Amateurs in 84. And some of that experience is showing, I think, tonight. Right hand by Jones again. One of the things Levine has done well is use the jab, and that's one thing I think Roy Jones needs to, and there is the jab by Levine. Well, Levine had a good jab, good combinations in his semis. Minute and a half to go in the second round. He's a tireless fighter. Sometimes it works this way. You know, Roy Jones with the upset over Derek Roland in the semifinals may have peaked in that fight. This is for everything. A 139-pound class. I'll tell you what, Jones is landing a lot of body shots and then going upstairs. And there he landed a good straight right hand. He's a, he's a, tough, a tough young man. And this is really similar now to the way the Roland fight went in the sense that he did come back. Let's 
Covered his right hand here in the second round. Both fighters scoring in that last exchange. Hey. Round two is now history. One to go. Here's how they're going to prepare Jones for this final round. Beautiful, baby. You got to put it together a bit more, baby. Plenty of water. Plenty of water. Put it together just a bit more, baby. Right. Going out his back with one of them now. Come on, read it again. We read it again. Still beautiful, baby. All you gotta do is keep your jabs up. You gotta get your hands, your hands feet up. Right. And we will see in the last round, Roy Jones setting up the right hand with that left jab. And uh, that's something he didn't always do earlier in that first round. But the second round, he discovered it. Now, come on, now you gotta keep that jab going. You gotta keep that him, baby. Go three punches, nothing less than three, baby. That's what I want. Well, is Levine going to be able to fire at least three punches at his opponent? Well, he's shown the ability to counter punch, so we'll see. Victor Levine in the black trunks, white shoes. Roy Jones in the orange trunks. Some good lefts. By Levine, both of them throwing good body punches. A good left, and that may have hurt Levine. Right. Or did he slip? That could be called a knockout. It wasn't. He, it could have been a knockout. Jones ducks under a Levine shot. Levine working on the body. He's got Jones against the rope. And Roy Jones coming out here in the third. He may be younger. He may not have the experience of Levine, but boy, he's showing us just as he did against Derek Roland. He does not quit. A minute to go in the fight. Levine getting off a couple of good rights. And scoring now with right combinations. That last flurry may have taken a little bit of steam out of Jones. Oh, on the inside, both these fighters effective. And Levine landing three and four punch combinations. Oh, Roy Jones is tough. Hey, he up a little bit. Jones continues to burrow in with half a minute to go. Levine leading with the jab, but really couldn't set up anything with his right. About 15 seconds left in this fight for the 139 pound title. Good body combinations by Levine in the closing seconds of this round. And a good, strong wow. finish to a good, strong fight throughout these entire three rounds. Well, this may have been the quintessential Golden Gloves battle. Really, two fighters, uh, Victor Levine and Roy Jones, battling throughout this fight. And uh, this is one that's tough to call because both fighters had their moments. Jones with that good third round, and I thought in the second round, Levine, very, very strong, landing lots of combinations. A tough one to score. Yes, and Jones also shows that he could take a punch because despite a flurry of combinations thrown by Levine, Jones continued to burrow in there. He really did. Right now, the judges are compiling their scorecards, and let's go to Bob Brooks, the PA announcer for the official results of the fight. At 139 pounds from the blue corner, Roy L. Jones, Knoxville. So the teenager from the Knoxville Club wins the 139-pound Golden Gloves Championship, Roy L. Jones over Victor Levine. More Golden Gloves action from Cedar Rapids right after this.